If you use the Pay Bills command in QuickBooks and choose the Check Payment method, QuickBooks creates check transactions for you. But you can also record checks that you write that don't go with the bill. For example, the check you write to the plant lady who takes care of your plants every week. To write a check like this, on the home page, click Write Checks in the Banking section. The Write Checks window makes it easy to fill in check fields by making the form look just like a paper check. QuickBooks fills in the bank account box with your default bank account for writing checks. If you want to pay from a different account, choose it in the drop-down list. QuickBooks automatically fills in the number box with a number one higher than the last check you wrote. If the number isn't correct, type the one you want. And if the date isn't set to the date you want for the check, click the calendar icon and choose the date. In the Pay to the Order of list, choose who you want to make the check out to. You can choose customers, vendors, employees, or people on the other names list. QuickBooks fills in the address from the record for the name you selected, that is, if you added an address to that record. Then, type the amount for the check. QuickBooks fills in the written amount on the check line. The Write Checks window has two tabs, just like the window for entering bills. The Expenses tab is for services you purchase from a vendor, and the Items tab is for non-inventory products you purchase, for example, when you go to the local hardware store. On the Expenses tab, in the first account cell, choose the expense account for tracking what you bought. In the Amount cell, type the amount the vendor charged. If the expense isn't billable to a customer, that's all you have to do. You can add another expense to the next line. On that line, choose an account for the next amount. You can also fill in additional lines if necessary. When you move to the next line, QuickBooks calculates how much of the bill's total amount is still remaining. If the check includes charges for non-inventory items you purchase, you can click the Items tab and fill it out just the way you do for bills. If the total in the table doesn't match the check amount, click Recalculate. QuickBooks removes any unassigned amounts in the table to make the numbers match. If you want QuickBooks to print a check for you, turn on the To Be Printed checkbox. You'll learn how to print checks in the chapter Printing and Emailing Forms. The Online Payment checkbox is for making a payment using an online vendor payment service. When you're done, click Save and Close to save the check transaction. If you have more than one checking account, you can tell QuickBooks which account to choose when you write checks. To do this, on the Edit menu, choose Preferences. Then click Checking, turn on the Open the Right Checks checkbox, and choose the account that you want to use in the drop-down list. Then click OK. Whether you write checks by hand or have QuickBooks print them, don't forget to put them in envelopes and mail them out.